Well, this is Charlotte. And she's a Nubian goat. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make a disclaimer before I get into this video and that is that I am only sharing this video to help anyone else out who has goats and is going through the same thing. I had a veterinarian that I used to use. I took her to that one and they just couldn't figure out what was wrong with her. So I took it upon myself to ask friends and to look on Google and a bunch of websites. And eventually I found a friend who knows about goats and told me what to do and it's helping. So I wanted to share with y'all what what is happening that I'm doing to help this goat. But I also wanted to share with y'all and tell you that I would continue to go to the vet except for I got fired as a client. And if you're interested in why, I will share that video maybe tomorrow or the day after that and let you know exactly what happened. But that kind of is one of the things that had discouraged me as well from sharing things about my goats on top of what is happening to my goat Charlotte. <laughs> Guys, I have not shared my goats a lot because I have a goat who is honestly a big embarrassment to me. I love that goat and at the same time, I hate her. <laughs> she has cost me so much money and it's been ridiculous. So when we originally got this goat, she had a baby with her and she was skinny scrawny, was super picky eater and she just never looked good and when we bought her we paid top dollar for her and looking back that was my mistake we bought these two goats that were just not up to par after we got granny and cinnamon those nice big goats we realized like <laughs> we got duped <laughs> but anyways now this goat she had chronic diarrhea for the longest time i have videos about her and i'll link them and i have bought medication after medication for her trying to figure out what it was and eventually we figured out she had some sort of bacterial infection because an antibiotic kicked that diarrhea after a long time. Then she got diarrhea again and we treated her again and that went away. But then she got she's constantly getting worms and stuff and that's obviously because she's not a healthy goat. And then all of a sudden her fur began to fall out and she looked like a goat with a mange. She still does and like I said I've been so embarrassed to share about my goats and anything because of her. On top of her fur falling off, her leg went kind of limp. You can kind of see her. She's walking on it now, but she was not walking on it before. This is my goat, guys. This is the most embarrassing thing. But we finally figured out what was wrong with her. And all of her hair is coming back in a lot prettier, a lot darker. It looks, She just looks a lot better. Look at all this flaky. This is so disgusting. But here's some of her medicine she's taking. She likes yes and this one is just let me see let go. this is called replamin gel plus it's a source of vitamins and minerals we've also been giving her a supplement of zinc every other day and i'll link below if you're interested to know which kind that we are using but seriously, if you owned her, you would have been embarrassed too. And I really felt like I was failing. I had taken her to the vet. I had asked for advice and nothing, nothing, nothing. And I have a friend who raises goats and I talked to her and she told me what to do and it started working. And I'm so thankful because my goat is gonna start looking normal again. I'm hoping she ends up being like my ugly duckling. Yeah. They used to be like a pale, pale thing. Okay. She's even put on some weight. Like, you used to be able to see her ribs all the way in. And it's not that we did not feed this goat. I said before that she was picky. And because she was picky, I was like, you know what? I don't care if she's picky. I'm going to feed her what she wants if it'll put some weight on her. So we feed her hay and we also feed her corn because she likes corn, which is not a very good source of minerals and supplements and zinc that she needed. So we are giving her goat feed right now. And then we're going to also supplement her with some sunflower seeds. And she is not bred, hasn't been bred. Her poop still comes out clumpy like dog poop, but that's way better then diarrhea. We just know she's still struggling with parasites. We're going to treat her today for some worms and parasites. What is all this stuff? Cows got in here and pooped. <laughs> Anyways, um, but she's come a long way 
And it's really funny. My friend said I should have named her Hollywood because of how much money she's cost me. I sold a bunch of our goats at auction uh, like a month ago. And I wanted to sell her too. But I felt heavily convicted that I would be giving somebody else a problem. So I decided to hold her back and just constantly be working on her until she gets healthy. And if she gets healthy and is able to, I will breed her and she'll make me my money back by having some babies and giving me some goat milk. She likes me. Yeah, at first she hated Jocelyn because Jocelyn would come out here and inject her with medication. She would give her the copper bolus. She would give her shots. And I normally would do all that stuff except I couldn't because I had the baby. And it was just hard for me to keep up with that. Boo. <laughs> On this side, she looks a lot skinnier. I guess from the top, if you were to look at her, you could see how skinny she is. But like I said, guys, we are on the road to recovery with her. This is quite sad looking. Her face is really soft now. Yeah, her hair is coming back in from where it fell out, all this dandruff. I'm sharing some pictures with y'all of how she originally looked. And you can see all how all her skin was very patchy. It was completely bald down to the skin. It was flaky and falling out. And it just did not look good. There was no regrowth at the beginning until we started supplementing with the minerals and the vitamins as well as the zinc. And she lost a lot of hair on her face and her body, her spine. And now the rest of it is just falling out. I did research and one of the reasons that a goat can become deficient in zinc is if a goat isn't lactating and if they're also not pregnant, they don't need a lot of calcium. And if you feed them alfalfa, which we do and did, um, it can throw off their zinc absorption. And that's basically what happened with this goat. She didn't need so much calcium in her diet. And by feeding her an excess amount, she wasn't able to absorb the amount of zinc she needed. We did have loose minerals for her, but that was not enough to keep up with her. And then this is the result is that they lose their hair. It looks flaky. On top of that, like I said before, she came to us already kind of looking malnourished and just not a very healthy looking goat. Um, and I just assumed it was because she had a baby on her and was, you know, in milk. But there were other underlying things. I really think that's why she was called from the dairy that she was at. Nobody gets rid of good goats. This is where we're at with her. We're treating her. We're staying on top, making sure she doesn't have parasites in large quantities. We're trying to take care of her diet and administer any medications that she might need. And especially, I'm going to be trying to put weight on her. I'm going to be feeding her barley, sunflower seeds, and goat feed. But I'm also going to throw molasses on all of it to see if she'll eat it all. Because she'll pick through and only eat what she wants to eat. She's very picky. And I'll give you a shot of my other goat. I mean, we feed our goats. They look good. They're healthy. She's pregnant and she's close to being due. Hi. This is another one of my goats and you can see she looks nice and healthy she's pregnant I'm gonna have baby soon thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments leave them down in the comment section and if you're a new subscriber i hope you'll subscribe to my channel and stick around my channel is basically vlogs of our day in the life we live on a homestead and i like to cook a lot as well i'm a mom to eight kids so we stay busy i'll see you on my next video y'all take care guys bye